that ball. Remember per radio with your host, Gen T. Fuck, I don't know what, what the fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. I'm fucking coming for you. Now I feel poo coming out of my bum. So <laughs> it's, 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 right, it's a lot right now. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Ramble Pro Radio. I am your host, Gen T. Twitter and Instagram at Gen T52. Three, it's freaking hot. Oh, God. I am melting. I am motherfucking melting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Can we turn the oven off? Can somebody please? It is so hot. It is preposterously hot. How can anything get done in this type of heat? I mean, I'm just getting destroyed. Ugh. I have no defense other than ice cream and ice water. That's it. That's all I've been eating all summer is just ice cream and ice water. Nothing else. <laughs> oh, man. The occasional cold turkey sandwich. But Jesus, I don't... I Anything hot, heated up food, soup, I miss a delicious hot meal. I cannot have because it is already so damn hot. You don't want to eat anything hot. You don't want soup. It's just so freaking hot. You just want to cool down. You just want to be cool, ice cold, like polar bear's toenails. <laughs> well, friends, uh, you know, maybe it is the heat. <laughs> because all hell is breaking loose at my work again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh <laughs> So just to fill you in <laughs> Um as I mentioned, you know, the terrible location is closing and should have closed many moons ago. So we are inheriting some people and um well, some of the people were inheriting. <laughs> hey man, um so these two gentlemen super nice people. One of them is maybe a little misunderstood, but in my opinion, I feel like has the potential to be a nice person because he still looks young. So uh, I believe that there is still time to change. Well, and, you know, maybe I take that back. As long as you're breathing air, you always have time to change, right? doesn't matter how young or old you are. But this this particular individual, um, somewhat nice. Um, I'm hearing, you know, he's he's been at our store uh, a couple months. And... Uh, He's had some difficulty with m most of the staff. Uh, not me yet, but we haven't really had time to have an interaction. Um, but uh, he may or may not have had a dispute at uh, the old, the old terrible location, which pfft, <laughs> how anyone worked over there, I do not know. <laughs> um. So he was, you know, brought in to kind of just diffuse the situation. And, um, you know, I've been kind of just asking different people and people are like, hey, he's, 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 he's not good. <laughs> and I said, damn, you know, because I want to believe. Um, but, you know, a couple of people told me, said, hey, he's cool. I haven't had a problem with him. So um, I was like, damn, but uh, to not help his case, uh I had heard, um, <laughs> maybe it was the heat, but I had heard that uh, a dear friend of mine who's worked there a long time, very friendly, Christian man, you know, he said, hey, hey, brother, <laughs> you know, and, the, and to just kind of give you a little perspective in the situation, these are both Hispanic men now. One of them is is extremely passionate and questions everything. And the other one is, you know, a nice, 
Christian man who loves the Lord and is just happy-go-lucky and, and doesn't really question things. He just does them. And so this may or may not bother the other gentleman the wrong way. And so uh, I guess uh, my homie was like, hey, uh, we got to do this. And, uh, you know, this is the time limit and I need your help. And he goes, nah. And uh, he's like, hey, brother, it's cool. And he goes, I am not your brother. <laughs> so my Christian homie was like, whoa, um, it's, it's just figure speech, man. I'm just trying to be cool. And he's like, I am not your brother. <laughs> and then so the homie was like, you know, because he's a nice Christian man, but uh, he also Hispanic. And so when you rile up my Hispanic population, they are feisty. <laughs> and so uh, my coworker and this other coworker, they're both Hispanic and uh, they're both males. And guess what? They're going to bing, bing. <laughs> and so uh, uh, <laughs> I was told because I was not there, uh, but I was told by a, a eyewitness. I got an eyewitness account to that. Um, my feisty coworker uh, tried to uh, engage my friend, the Hey Brother, with a, uh, a fucking, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, but he tried to pull out his fucking Chavala, man. He tried to. He tried to pull up the old, uh, <laughs> he pulled out the box cutter, bro. <laughs> and, um, of course my Christian homie was like, bro, if you're going to try and cut me, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> and then, so I guess they had to be broken up. It's kind of crazy. Two coworkers fighting and then knives, knives are drawn. Um, uh, crazy stuff, you know, cause this is, again, this is just the grocery store. <laughs> Why? Hey, you fool, get out your Javala, man. Let's square up. Hey, you fool, let's go. <laughs> um, this is not <laughs> that kind of place. This is just a grocery store, a regular ass grocery store, a little mom and pop shop. Um, it's not rocket science. We don't need to murder each other, okay? Nobody needs to get shanked, okay? Over the slightest comment. And when I say the slightest comment, when somebody says, Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> I don't ever recall that. Makes me want to get a knife out. <laughs> hey, brother. I am not your brother. Holy shit, man. You got to relax, man. <laughs> it's cool, man. Don't you got bills to pay? Like, why are you risking your job? It's just flat out stab somebody. <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? <laughs> I don't recall ever in the history of mankind <laughs> that a hey brother warrants a knife to be drawn. I don't understand. <laughs> hey, brother. I'm not your brother. <laughs> Holy shit, man. You got to dial it back, bro. This is, we're not in Afghanistan, okay? <laughs> we are not in uh, the Taliban. Nah. <laughs> we already got Osama. We already got, uh, who's the other fella we got? Uh, we got Saddam, we got, uh, you know, I, I, we, I believe we got the whole fam. We got Saddam, his sons. It's cool, bro. Relax. <laughs> Put your weapon down. <laughs> Holster that sidearm. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, man. We fucking sell vegan sandwiches, chopped up fruit. Steaks and fucking vitamins, man. <laughs> Why are you ready to go to war? Why are you like, hey, brother, I am not your brother. Si se puede, si se puede. <laughs> Charge. 
<laughs> My God, man, this ain't medieval times. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. <laughs> Maybe that's the next place you should apply at is medieval times. You can just joust your your coworker. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. So I'm just like, man, ooh. That ain't gonna look good because you know, work gets around. You don't wanna be the dude who tried to stab your coworker over a over a hey brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of crazy, yo. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, speaking of some more crazy, um, this young man has come over from our, you know, abandoned location. This young man has come over from this uh, godforsaken location, and well, I'm not really sure what's going on. Nice man, but he's not a. Uh, a thousand percent present. I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, but he does the uh he does the the bodybuilder arms. You know, he kinda has like the the SpongeBob look, kinda like me, right? But at least I don't like pretend to, you know, put the bodybuilder arms out because I was fat as hell. I was Patty McFatty, but he does the bodybuilder arms and he kind of just stands there and poses. Like he doing the bodybuilder thing, but there's no bodybuilding competition going on. And if there was, my man's would lose. <laughs> Very strange behavior. I uh, introduced myself to him, and uh, he was like, "Hello, how are you?" And I'm like, eh, "I'm good." And I was like, "Hey, so you know, because we don't need to train you, okay? You already came from the other place." You should know what to fucking do. It's the same shit, same company. No big deal. It's a, just a different zip code, okay? We can do this, my guy. Surely nobody needs to train you on how to do your job. Uh, so I was like, hey, uh, here's the stuff we got to put away. I don't know if you want to help me because maybe that will help you get acquainted where things are at. And he goes, hmm. And then just walks away. I was like, hmm, okay, well, there goes that. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Asking you shall receive. This is, your, this is your payment for opening that damn store, okay? You're going to get a bunch of dog shit, okay? Dog shit plans, dog shit promises, dog shit results. <laughs> 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 nice guy, but so far I have just experienced nothing but dog shit from this individual. <laughs> oh, I've just observed because you know that really doesn't do a whole lot of talking. It's very uh, strange. I'm trying to think that maybe we're just getting used to the place and how things are, but no, uh, this thing is complaining where things are and how come it's not over here? And at this store we had it over here and and whoop the fucking whoop. I'm like, bro. Listen, man, hey, uh, so there's somebody in charge of this apartment. Talk to them about it. If you don't see that individual around here, don't worry about it. If it bothers you that much, go find that individual. Because I'm not in charge, you're not in charge. So therefore, it's not our problem. It's not our problem. <sighs> and he just goes, hmm. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so then my man takes it upon himself to start moving things, start, um, you know, we have price tags on the shelf. And so when the item is out, we will rescan that price tag so we know to order it again. Or maybe it's not being ordered correctly by the computer. So we, we just want to make sure that that price tag stays on the shelf so we can make sure we're going to get that product again. And um, this young man decides to just start pulling the price tag off the shelf. And uh, I was like, ooh, damn, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> but it's not mine. <laughs> this should be a running thing. <laughs> Dog shit plants. 
Dog shit promises, dog shit results. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he starts taking the tags off the shelf because the product is not there, um, which is just so bizarre. I don't know why you would do that, but he starts going to the computer. How come we don't have this? How come we don't have that? I'm like, my guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. Hey, hey. Listen, 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 Linda, listen, Linda. Let's just, let's just help customers. Let's just answer the phone. Let's just put stuff away. Let's take out the trash. And let's go home. Okay. Real simple. It's real simple here. It's real simple. Don't do all this extra shit. Because now you're going to be getting involved with somebody else's stuff. Because somebody is in charge of that. Don't, don't get involved. Of course, does not listen to me. So I'm like, cool, whatever. I warned you. You have been warned. <laughs> So then his boss comes up to me and goes, how's he doing? And I said, oh, he's doing just great. (laughs) 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 You know, because I'm not going to be like his other boss over there who, you know, I'm not going to tell my boss and be like, why would you send this person here? They don't know what they're doing. I'm not going to be like that other chick over there. Uh, Cause I know better. I've been doing this too long. So, you know, again, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Asking you shall receive. So here you go. So I was like, he's doing fantastic. <laughs> I just let him keep doing that, doing that shit. So then finally, because you know, If you're my boss, if you're a supervisor and you're asking another staffer how so-and-so is doing, like, hey, I have an idea. Why don't you come down here and work with him? Ask him questions. Start following him around. Like y'all follow me around, even though I know what I'm doing, even though I've been doing it longer than 90% of the people in that building, 99% of the people in that building, um... Y'all still follow me around. Y'all still be trying to tell me what to do. So why don't you follow this new guy around and tell him what to do and do all this and that. So my boss actually came down. Well, he didn't actually come down. He had to work with us (laughs) because we didn't have enough people. (laughs) So he actually had to come down and help out. And upon further inspecting, he discovered what this guy was doing. And he goes, whoa, wait. (laughs) (laughs) What are you? (laughs) <laughs> and he goes, no, please don't do that. <laughs> and then he goes, the new guy goes, hmm. the hell is this yo i thought y'all said you're gonna be sending help not adding to my plate <laughs> uh so <laughs> the next day we are short staff somebody is is unavailable they are on leave and we got somebody on vacation and we got two other people who don't work that much so uh no we had two people on vacation somebody on on uh, leave Okay, so it just left, when did it leave? It just left me and me. (laughs) (laughs) Because I can't even count this new guy for assistance. But I will say this, uh, he, you know, he does help customers. He is thorough, but uh, other than that, okay, Absolute dog shit. (laughs) (laughs) What's even embarrassing is that this individual has worked in the health food industry for almost as long as I have and yet cannot do their job. So I'm like, ah, fuck. Yeah, well, that was nice. It was a nice thought thinking that we're going to have some help. (laughs) 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 There goes that. (laughs) So, um, 
or short staffed. It's uh, basically just me and him. And then uh, they scheduled a manager to work an associate shift because we didn't have enough fucking people. So uh, before I got there or maybe at some point during the day, because I'm trying to avoid that like the plague. I don't want nothing to do with that, Jack. Nothing to do with that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what does my man D'Angelo say? I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that, Jack. Holy shit. Whew. So we're short staffed. He's there. My boss is there. And then he tells my boss, so uh, I'm going to leave early. And they said, OK. And I'm like, wait a minute. What? And all the years I've been working there, anytime we're short staffed and we're fucking busy, nobody leaves early. Nobody leaves early, Jack. It ain't going to happen. You ain't leaving nowhere. Nobody. Not. It's not happening. They're like, OK. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'll just do it myself per as usual. So, <laughs> so my man goes to leave early and um, he tells me, he goes, so uh, what days do you work? And I tell him, he goes, oh, okay. Uh, well, see you Sunday. I go, yeah, see you Sunday. This is Thursday. Today is Sunday. I show up to work. And lo and behold, this individual is nowhere to be found. No call, no show. (laughs) Is anyone surprised? (laughs) 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 So, (laughs) it gets better. So, he then... um, he don't call. My supervisor calls, 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 calls. Finally, he answers. And she goes, um, where are you? You were supposed to be at work today. And he goes, mm, I didn't know I had work today. And hangs up the phone. And I'm like, you rat motherfucker. You told me. See you Sunday. You told another individual co-worker of mine who is a very trust trustworthy man see you sunday on friday you told another trustworthy co-worker friend of mine see you sunday bitch this bitch <laughs> Excuse me, sir. (laughs) Yeah, I didn't know I had work today. Bye bye. (laughs) Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Not one, not two, three. Three individuals you told see you Sunday. And then your boss calls you and you go, I don't know how to work today. Not coming. Goodbye. It's like, wait a minute. Well, if you didn't know how you had work today, well, congratulations. Your boss is on the phone. You got work. Get your ass down here. When will you be arriving? Within the next hour? Perfect. See you soon. No, I didn't know I had to work today. Not coming. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) My boss was speechless. Speechless. She came downstairs and I said, What the hell was that? She goes, he told me he didn't know he had work today. And I said, the fuck, bitch? He told three different people, see you Sunday. Now, unless he said, see you later means see you Sunday. 
<laughs> see you later. <laughs> no, it was see what day what do you work? Sunday. See you Sunday. What day do you work? Sunday. See you Sunday. He told three of the individuals that work on Sunday, see you Sunday. <laughs> 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 holy shit so then i had to go get the 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 tea i had to go get the old the the, the scoop uh from the homie uh, an insider that uh worked with him at the other location at the uh Name we shall never mention again. <laughs> and he said, oh, no. That boy, he don't like to work on the weekend. <laughs> so, so somebody didn't leave that in the manager's notes like, heads up. This dude don't work on the weekends. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so, at my location, it has always been a thing. Everyone works on weekends unless you got a special job, unless you like order you do like ordering or your department head, you're doing like some kind of specialty job for the company so you have some kind of certain hours. But if you just a regular ass Joe, you either work on Saturday or Sunday. That's it. Okay. All of us have accepted the consequences of that. And so a lot of folk who don't work on Saturday, but will work on Sunday. A lot of folk will just call off and not show up on Sunday. So they get their little weekend, whatever. This is just a known thing in the work world. (laughs) I don't care. I don't mind working on Sundays because half half of you motherfuckers that call off aren't there. There's less people that are in my way at work. So I don't care. Shit'll get done regardless. The the store is not going to cease operations. Things are just going to happen. Business will be taken care of. I don't mind working Sundays. I like working Sundays. You ain't going to catch me on a Saturday, Jack. Not going to happen, dude. Me ain't doing that. Don't like it. Not going to happen. Told him since the day I started, I said, I will not be here on Sundays. You got me Sunday through whatever, but no Saturday. None. Finito. Arroz. Arrivederci. Hasta la pasta. No sabido. Uh-uh. I work hard, so I have my Saturday. That's it. Saturday is the law's day. No jet. Not gonna happen. You wanna see me Domingo? Perfect. I'll be there bright and early. So all of us at this location have accepted this responsibility. One of us will either work a Saturday or a Sunday. We've all accepted it. This individual apparently has not accepted this invitation. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just wondering how is this going to turn out? I have got my popcorn, I've got uh, uh my my uh my popcorn chicken, my popcorn <laughs> and a Baja blast <laughs> and some fuzzy slippers and a personal fan because it's hot as hell, but what is about to get hotter is this this fucking guy. This fucking guy is about to get roasted, Jack. <laughs> if I could record the meeting that is going to happen when this dude shows up to work with management, I wish I could. I wish I could just magically somehow leave my phone on recording in the office and you can hear the complete and utter scenes that are about to go down. If this fool shows up to work tomorrow, Lord help him. (laughs) Once again, nice man. But holy shit. (laughs) 
absolute dog shit. <laughs> 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 See you Sunday. I didn't know how to work on Sunday. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> it's time for customers of the week. Well, this individual. Strange. Strange little. Strange little chonky man, you know, uh, he reminded me of that, that, uh, that, uh, what's that, Campbell, that, that Progresso soup, he chonky. (laughs) 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 This fucking chonky ass dude. I don't know if he's coming in there to hit on me or what's going on, but he just, the lights are on, nobody's home, uh, but he likes to try and be funny. I don't know. This is how he gets his little jollies off. I don't know what's going on with this dude, but he is weird as fuck. So <clears throat> he come in the store. He about mm, just under six foot, but like 260, 270. My man's just pushing and pushing. Okay. He's pushing maximum density. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he goes up to me. Hey, how's it going? I was like, hey, uh, hey. <laughs> And uh, he's got them little, uh, you know, them little 90s Oakleys on. But he he might have accidentally bought a child size because they're just so tight on his fat head. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking Oakleys are just like testing. <laughs> they're fucking defying the laws of gravity on this guy's face right now. <laughs> You can hear the screw turning when he starts to talk to you. He's <laughs> like, hey, uh, you know, I'm, I, um, you know, I, I, I'm done lifting weights today, and uh, you know, I'm gonna, I gotta, you know, I gotta go home. You're not gonna believe this, but I, I gotta go home and uh, swap my training out. You know, hmm. uh, you know, it. Uh, you know, you know, swap my tranny, you know, back in the day that used to mean, uh, you know, you know, swap, swapping my tranny. That, it, that means I'm working in my car, but, uh, you know, uh, today's world is, you know, swap my tranny. That's, uh, sw- swapping my tranny. That's just, that's just my girlfriend who, who, who's a man. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck, you. Him. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo, you dumb motherfucker. You fucking goofy. You dumb son of a bitch. Do you have a vitamin question? Or get the fuck away from my shit, okay? Get the fuck away from me. What is this, man? I just looked at this guy. I was like, what? He's like, uh-huh. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a joke. I don't, I don't mean to offend you. you know, I was just saying, I gotta, I gotta swap my tranny out. Um, you know, but like, you know, like, you know, uh, 30 years ago when, when you're saying you're going to, you're going to, you're going to swap, swap your tranny, uh, that means you're, that means you're talking about your car, but you know, uh, today, uh, uh, sh- 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 swapping my tranny means, uh, I, I, I will switch girlfriends, uh, uh, that girlfriend, that girlfriend's a man. Bitch, please. Oh, you, you fucking Momo. God, get away from me, man. I was like, oh, okay. And I just kept working. I was like, yep, turn back around, kept doing my job. And uh, <laughs> obviously I took a little step back because I was like, what the fuck is this, man? I did not ask to be put in the improv comedy with you, okay? I have bills to pay. This job pays for jujitsu, which is what I'm going to do after I leave work today. This job pays for the lights, the electricity, the video games I play, uh, the gas in my car, road trips, etc. That does not mean I need to put up with your bullshit, sir. <laughs> 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 this guy, every fucking time he comes in there, always has the terrible ass jokes. And I'm just like, oh yeah, that's that's great. Well, if you have any questions, let us know. He's like, yeah, well, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not done. And I was like, you're not done what? This bitch. 
You're not done once, sir. I just, I just told you, I'm done. If you don't have a question, I'm out of here. <laughs> so far, all I've heard is some dumbass statement. But unless you got a question, I gotta go. Because oh, oh, well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, you know, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, I'm no Dave Chappelle or anything, you know. Um, you know, because uh, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just some fat white guy, you know, you know, my, uh, you know, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my jokes, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm no Dave Chappelle, you know. So, you know, you, Dave Chappelle is funny. We, we, we know this, but you know, um, I, 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 um, you know, I, you know, I, I, I'm hoping to be a Dave Chappelle, but, but in the meantime, I'm just, I'm just some fat white guy, you know, and, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, I, I, I gotta go back in my, in my, uh, in my, in my, in my pool, you know. And I was, he's like, oh yeah, uh, so. When 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 I get back in my pool, you know, uh, I, I'll uh, introduce you to my my girl, my girlfriend. Uh, her name's her ma- her name's Shamu. Her name's Sh- yeah, Shamu. This bitch. I'm like, is this? Is this? I was like, it instantly reminded me of that fucking shit from 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 uh fucking Lockstock, the black guy, <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> Is this some white cunts joke us black cunts don't get? Because I am fucking laughing, Nicholas. (laughs) 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 Yo! I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm no Dave Chappelle. I, I, I mean, I mean, he, he, you know, he's funny. I'm, I'm just some fat white guy. I got, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I gotta go back, back to, the, back to the pool. Um, you know, my, my, my girlfriend, uh, Shamu. Oh, yeah, she's, she's, she's waiting for me. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, man. I was like, well, take care. <laughs> you have mental problems. You have some. You need attention. You need something. Take your fucking baby Oakleys that are too small for your fucking face. Your fucking <laughs> this fucking guy. He's got he's got the fucking big dog T-shirt on. <laughs> you know, big dog that's like five XL with the sleeves cut off. <laughs> big dog's life. <laughs> Take your fucking cargo shorts. That aren't even that are not even at your waist because your belly is hanging so low. Them cargo shorts stop at like his mid thigh. <laughs> Take your big dog shirt and your fucking child Oakley glasses. Get the fuck out of here, man! Go off your fucking prick! <laughs> Holy shit, man! I don't. I didn't ask for this. I just asked you if you need help, man. And I didn't mean that. I just get paid to say that. <laughs> I don't want to help you, my guy. I already know. I already know your fucking story. Every time it's a situation. But that fucking. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta swap my tranny out. You know, I gotta go, I gotta, I gotta go back to the pool with my girlfriend Shamu. I'm no Dave Chappelle. (laughs) 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 What the fuck is this? You got Asperger's son? (laughs) This this motherfucker straight up look like Gomer Pyle. What are you this doing is in my, my rival. Swamp? There are many rivals like it, but there is none one like my rival. What <laughs> are you doing in my swamp? Go, my pal. <laughs> Holy shit. This one, hold on. Oh, God. No, no part of this, man. I barely make minimum wage. Please. I don't want to listen to your shitty ass jokes, sir. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe I do, and then (laughs) because I need material for the show. (laughs) Unbelievable. I was like, good God almighty. 
what is wrong with you, man? Are you trying to hit on me or something? Because I'm gay. I is a lesbian. I don't like dick, okay? <laughs> what is happening here? Every time this guy sees me, he's got to tell me some stupid ass joke. <laughs> and I just feel bad because I'm like, I'll look at him and I'm like, yep, going back to work. <laughs> I just turn my head and I'm like, well, if you got any questions, sir, I'm going to keep working over here. <laughs> and my man's just reeks of alcohol, you know, so I'm like, damn, here's a situation. And then uh, he came in there the other day with his homie. I don't know if it was a boyfriend or his dad or what the hell was going on, but his dad was looking for creatine. And I'm like, wait a minute. Use two peanut M and M's need creatine. <laughs> Yo, Yo, why, 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 God, why? <laughs> why, 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 why? <laughs> it is not my place to judge, but uh, when you are as as. As fat as I am, hey man, hey, we we need to do a little bit more than just creatine. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Unbelievable. Some current events. Some current events. Well, I went to the Snow the Product concert. Last night, and holy smokes, man, my eyeballs are going to fall out of my head. <laughs> I was like, man, you know, the only reason why I agreed to go to this concert against my will is because it was in R- 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 Riverside, motherfucker. And so, you know, this concert was like 10, 15 minutes from my house. I was like, OK, I, I cannot go because even when we get out of the concert late, I'll be home in like 10, 15 minutes. It's better than going to a concert in L.A. and then you got to drive an hour and change back. And it's like you you leave the concert at midnight. You get home at 1.30 and just like, oh, fucked up. So I went to the concert last night. It was over at uh, 11.45 midnight. I was home by 12.15. I was in bed by 12.30. So I was like, this is cool, man. So anyway, Snow the Product, she's fucking dope. Uh, she's got a that little song, that little ditty bop that y'all like. She go, Hola, what's happening? No cap in my caption. Got a little belly and she takes me for the Eddie because I got a little thing for the bitch. Get ratchet, the ratchet, on uh, snow. So I'm in it, got no time no flow. <laughs> oh, oh, right, let's go. <laughs> and some other song about the De la Los Cuatar, Molly Blunson, and Tregon Blunson, Nada Pasa, Kerakalema, Nada Pasa. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> some songs are in the English and some songs are in the Spanish. Some songs are in the English, some songs are in the Espanol. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I has got to go because uh, she is a lesbian. And uh, she knows where Riverside is at. And I will gladly support any artist that knows where Riverside's at. Because <laughs> most people, when you tell them, yeah, I'm from Riverside, they're like, oh, uh, the area between uh, L.A. and Palm Springs, right? <laughs> I'm like, sure, whatever. <laughs> um, concert was dope. I was like, man, I got to go to this concert because uh, I also had some ulterior motives as well. Because, you know, if this is a lesbian hola mommy, then I, I figured there's other lesbian hola mommies there. Um, but y'all didn't tell me all the hola mommies were taken, okay? I was like, hey, walked in there. I had my, uh, had my uh, 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 hola mommy pants on, you know? And I was like, hey, uh, hey, look at me. You know, hey, uh, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, oh, the mommy, mojo goes down. And all these people were like, hey, cool shirt. Hey, hey. And uh, I'm like, hey, hey. And I was like, wait a minute. Hey, you're you're a dude. What is this? This is a lesbian concert. Yeah, my, my lady, she loves Snow the Product. Yeah, my lady, she loves this. And she's pretty cool. I like it too. I'm like, man, I'm making friends with dudes here at the concert. What the fuck, man? I'm here for the ladies. 
Motherfucker. Always have the worst luck, man. I am at a lesbian concert and I'm surrounded by dudes ducking. I'm like, hey, man, yeah, this is cool. And then uh, I see a couple older mommies. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and then when I found I found some, I was like, yes, I found some. Hola, mommy. I found some. I got all excited. And then the, and then their girlfriend came back with the drinks. I went, hey, 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> like, God damn it, man. Fuck. So, and then of course, she knows the product. She's, she's, she's pretty, she's, she's definitely a, hola, mami, mucho gusto. Um, you know, she is, she is definitely my type, but, uh, she kind of leans more on the, the masculine side. That's kind of like not really my type, but, uh, anyhow, uh, excellent show. Um, I'm going to be putting my uh, clips from the, the concert. I, I put a, a sneak peek on my Instagram. I'll put the rest on YouTube. Um, and, uh, you know, because I, 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 I got some uh, Chinese food earlier that day. And my fortune cookie said that I would be a uh, 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 some sort of uh, influencer on YouTube. I said, oh, it said, I will be an entertainer. And I was like, hey, hey. Hey, that's me. Hey, hey. <laughs> I got all excited. Like, oh, yo, this is my sign. I was going to be an entertainer. So I've got to entertain, of course. So I'm going to put the rest of the concert clips on YouTube. Gen T TV, if you must go look and see, if you will. Um, what, uh, so, so some things about the concert, though. So some things. I love Snow the Product. The first time I saw Snow the Product was at the Lesbian Pool Party. And, uh, you know, that was like 10 years ago, yo. I was freshly out of a relationship. Very sad. Very depressed. And I went to the pool party. And there was Snow the Product rapping on the stage, pouring champagne on some girl's booty hole. And I was like, man, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of girls twerking on the stage, <laughs> getting champagne poured all over their bums. I was like, "This is great!" The single live here I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the concert has definitely changed. It's uh, a, a, just a wee bit toned down because I think Snow might be seeing somebody. So, but anywho, great show. What sucked was. The the venue, something happened. They didn't let us in for like two fucking hours. They kept us outside for some reason. And then um, when we did get inside, technical difficulties up the wazoo, okay? I mean, she was up there rapping, and I could tell by the sound of her voice, like she was kind of straining a little bit. And so she was like, hey, can, can somebody turn my music up? Somebody turn my music up. Somebody turn my music up. And she kept asking for somebody to turn her music up, turn her music up. And I felt like my man's running the soundboard was like turning it down or something. I don't know if it was like opposite day, but the music got quieter. I could hear it because I have, uh, I wear special earplugs for the concert because uh, I don't want to go deaf because some of y'all don't know how to do your job and there's fucking feedback and that shit hurts my ears. So uh, I protect my ears at all costs now. Uh, And so... I could hear through my special headphone things that uh, uh, the the music, because uh, when the music was louder, the floor was like vibrating, like the bass was like, and then like, I could feel like certain songs, like I could barely feel the beat with my feet. And I was like, yo, my guy, what are you doing? Like, I am a certified AV individual. I've been doing audiovisual stuff. Since fucking high school, man, just push the knob up, maximum volume, you know, like Spinal Tap. Turn it up to 11. (laughs) Up means up. (laughs) I don't know what happened, but she was like, yo, turn my music up, turn my music up. And then uh, my man was like turning it down and she's like, yo, I'm not coming out here until I turn my music up. And then uh, 
At one point, she asked her brother to go back there. She's like, yo, Edo, go back there. Turn my music up. And then he goes back there, and he's messing with the board. And then uh, I heard her call for her lawyer, Lisa. She's like, yo, Lisa, Edo, somebody, get back there and turn my music up. (laughs) I was like, damn, y'all are in trouble, man. Because look, fans, we paid money to see Snow. Snow's in charge. Oh, the show. So all you have to do is just listen to what she's saying. And she's saying, turn the volume up. It got to the point where she was like, yo, Riverside, I know you guys are, are, are doing the most. You guys are enjoying the show. I love you guys. She's like, but this is terrible. I got to come back here and do it right. I'm going to pick a whole nother venue. She straight up just started talking. The venue was like, I'm going to pick a whole nother venue. I'm going to do everything. And y'all just come back and I'm going to show you how to do a real show. And, um, you know, just I could tell like some at some points her arms were crossed. Um, At some points, uh, the I don't know how you fuck up the audio for a show because all that's playing is the record. Yo, all you have to do is turn the volume up. All it is is the DJ. And we know that the DJ has his computer at max. His fucking turntables are at max. And the sound runs through the soundboard. So all y'all got to do is just turn the fucking knob up. That's it. So certain songs, it was loud. A lot of songs were kind of quiet. And then she was like saying her monitor, because they were like an inner ear monitor where they hear stuff. If she was in the center she was getting like feedback and then if she was like on the sides of the stage she was like i'm kind of cool but man i felt bad because at one point her arms were crossed like she was getting pissed off and i was like damn this is kind of crazy because she's trying to entertain the fans and y'all are fucking up her show and she's just like fuck this she's like i'm coming back to riverside I will post the date. And she's like, I'm going to pick a whole ass another venue. I'm in charge. I got my sound guy. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Y'all going to see a real ass show. And she was going crazy. And I was like, ooh, like I felt bad for the people that work at the Riverside Municipal Auditorium. Because I was like, yo, y'all are having a bad night. And then even the artist is clowning you like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Either get a new soundboard or fire that guy. <laughs> Cause y'all suck. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is crazy. But um, yeah, Snow the Product Rock, I highly recommend. Uh, like I said, some songs are in English, some are in Spanish, uh, but it's mostly like uh, Spanish rap. But I- I'm cool with that. I like all that. You know me. I, I was a little bilingual. I was a little Espanole or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I politely encourage you to YouTube's know the product. Uh, she's like super, super independent artist. She films her own music videos. She makes all her shit. Uh, uh, she does the songs, everything independent, no record label. Yo doing all of this on her own. Cause she had a record deal and they fucked her over, man. So she's like, fuck that. I'm doing this my own solo, solo dolo. So everything's like in house. It's like all her, it's like her, her brother, her cousins, all of it, everything's in house. She makes the beats, the videos, the promotion, the tour, everything. So I respect her her hustle. That is like I can't even imagine. Cause usually, you know, when you're with a record label, they take care of everything. But because she's been screwed over, she's like, nah, I'm just gonna do everything myself. So everything is like her her merch, even the merchandise she makes herself. T shirts, hats, sweatshirts, all of that. She makes all that herself. It's crazy, man. It's a whole full-time gig being Snow the Product. So I politely encourage you to support independent artists uh, any way you can, and especially something like that. That's pretty That's pretty. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, let see what else we got for you. Man, I am devastated. The Olympics are over. And I have enjoyed these two weeks because... This last two weeks, for the most part, with the Olympics going on, you know, with the exception of the whole people don't know the difference between intersect and transgender. (laughs) Some of y'all need to go back to school (laughs) for that. (laughs) People don't know chromosomes. Um, Besides all that drama with that, 
uh, for the most part, um, I'd say it was a pretty, pretty cool event. I have not watched the Olympics since 2016. Um, I took off Tokyo because there were no people in there. And I was like, this is some bullshit. I ain't going to watch people with masks on trying to do gymnastics and shit. This is fucked up. I ain't, nah, ain't going to happen. So I said, see you in four years. So this has been my first Olympics since I think that was fucking 2016. I think that was Beijing. So, man, I was like, wow, sports has evolved. Sports has evolved. And uh, I am thoroughly impressed. I have so many cool sports to watch now. And so many uh, 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 athletes I'm just dying to know and, and all the details and, and all of the stuff. And I was impressed with, besides the little transgender thing, and a couple little sprinkles of politics, for the most part, I feel like most people kind of forgot about the politics. And we're just talking about Olympics. I feel like we, uh, we were all collectively in this conversation. You know, we're like, oh, did you see the runner? Or, oh, did you see basketball? Steph Curry, LeBron James, Durantula. Whoa, man. What a game. Like, oh, man, that volleyball game. Or, oh, man, Gymnastics. Oh man, wrestling! Like everybody, I feel like a lot of the conversations I was having with people were related somehow came to the Olympic, and I was like, "Damn, this is so cool! Everyone's involved, and even people that wouldn't necessarily be involved were involved." So I like that. It kind of gave us a little two week break from all the fucking riff raff from Donald Dump and Shamala <laughs> Shamala Harris. <laughs> I cannot stand this politics. This is just so bad. It gave us a little break from Israel and Palestine and the Iron Dome and the Hummus and the fucking uh, what is it, the Hezbollah. <laughs> all of that stupid shit. I cannot stand all of that, man. I mean, obviously it's real shit that's happening to people, but God damn it, man. I feel like unless you, you know, unless you're part of that background or uh, you live there, I don't know if we should be getting in people's business like that. I don't know. Just saying. But I could be wrong. But I just feel like the mm-hmm. amount of energy going to these things, we're forgetting all the other stuff we need to be doing, like just being a, a regular, decent human being here at home. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like, hey, this last two weeks was like a, a fucking uh, vacation, a vacation from all of the bullshit. It's like, hey, let's just tune in. Let's watch some sports. I do feel kind of bad that a lot of these folks aren't getting paid. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, if you do well, then you get endorsement deals. But other than that, like these athletes, ain't making dog shit. And when they come home from Paris, they're going to go back to work at Home Depot. (laughs) What a fucking life, man. Women's water polo team working three jobs so they can play water polo. God damn. (laughs) Shit. Flav of Flav came through and paid their rent. I mean, just touching stuff was happening. So, you know, real just come together moments were happening i'm 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 proud of everybody who participated and even if you didn't like olympics like you kind of just got up in the conversation or you were watching something or maybe it was on that you were waiting somewhere in line and it was on on the tv and you you got into it for a minute i salute you okay and of course you know as americans we we smashed everybody right did we smash everyone in the medals let me see i feel like the old China might have beat us. What is the medal count for the Olympics? Let's find out the Olympic medal count. Medal count. Yeah, boy! United States with a total of 126 medals. And China with 91. And then third place, Japan with 45. So that's pretty fucking good with a little tiny-ass country, Japan. They got 45 medals. 
total? Damn, y'all killed it. Um, and then the host nation, fifth place with 64 medals. Obviously, China and the United States, we were tied for gold medals. We got 40 of them suckers. 40. Uh, we just, we just, you know, US and they, we dominate. We don't hate, we dominate. <laughs> wow, man. Two weeks, we fucking killed it, Jack. Uh, salute the United States. And I'm proud to be an American. God damn it. Now we can go back to hating each other. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did y'all see? Uh, 43-year-old female Russian chess champion, you know, because Mother Russia, you know, they pulled the ultimate, I guess, because apparently they're doing mean things to U- Ukraine. They weren't allowed to participate in the Olympics, but uh, in a roundabout way, these motherfuckers, these sneaky Russians, they fucking found a way. So apparently, uh, if you are... Any country can do this, which some people were doing this shit, but apparently a lot of Russians were doing this. So if your parents were like Russian or they had some other country background that they came from, you could petition to uh, participate for that other country. So I saw I tuned in and I saw two Russian dudes, but they didn't have no Russian flags. And even the announcer said these are two Russian dudes, but they competing for a. Turk, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. <laughs> These motherfuckers said, let's go to the next border country and <laughs> we're going to we're going to participate in your honor. <laughs> you don't ask questions. We're Russia. <laughs> Where the hell is a Turkmenistan? <laughs> Oh, man, because, you know, if it's Russian, they all have like an off at the end or an in, like uh, Ovechkin or uh, Popov, <laughs> Sergei Fedorov, <laughs> Alexei Namov, you know, they all got an off on the end or an in at the end. So the guy was like, oh, so we have two Russian competitors, but they are competing for two other countries. <laughs> and I was like, you rat motherfuckers, you sneaky Russians going, driving over the border. <laughs> Give us your singlet. We are competing for your country now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, man, but uh, 43-year-old Russian, female Russian uh, chess champion, apparently was caught, you know, because like I said, um, my little Russian fam, they're upset that a lot of them couldn't participate in the Olympics, so they're stuck at home playing chess, and uh, old girl decided to uh, poison her opponent before the match by uh, pouring mercury on the lady's chess pieces. Holy shit, bitch. <laughs> oh, why? Are women the biggest haters? <laughs> Why do y'all do some scandalous shit? Like, old girl asks, she's like, hey, uh, does the room have cameras in there? I should probably do a Russian accent for that. Skills man, skills man. Does the room have cameras? I need to go inspect the chess board. <laughs> And they told her no. The the chess committee told her no. They lied to her. They told her no, the cameras aren't on. When in fact, the cameras were on. And she walked in the room and poured mercury on the other lady's chess pieces. And then so when they had the chess match, the girl was touching the chess pieces. Apparently, mercury in large amounts is fucking deadly. <laughs> So this bitch started fucking seizing up, had the old vomiting, 
nausea and they rushed her ass to the hospital and then when they checked her blood she had high levels of mercury and then when they ran the tape back old girl was in the room <laughs> caught red handed she is uh, got the red hand the red hand of communism <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> and so she was stripped of her title. Russian champion was stripped of her title for poisoning her appoint her opponent. Holy shit, bitch! God damn! <laughs> Some of y'all ladies are vicious. <laughs> Let's see what else I found. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Doctors. Uh, uh, <laughs> Doctors remove a 26-inch eel from man's anus after it ate through his intestinal wall after he shoved the eel up his anus. <laughs> 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 Apparently, this young man, uh, for pleasure, shoved. Thought it would be a good idea to shove a live eel up his buttocks. And apparently, the eel got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> The eel got hungry. Nobody told this fella that eels can survive up to 10 days without water. <laughs> this shit was up his butt for more than 10 days and was hospitalized with an intestinal perforation when the eel decided to chew through his intestines. <laughs> It's worse, friends. <laughs> so apparently, once doctors begin the operation to remove this 26-inch eel out of this guy's anus, apparently they had run into some trouble when they had discovered that um, <laughs> they found a lemon... <laughs> They found a lemon in his asshole. <laughs> and it was blocking the doctor's ability to remove the eel from his anus. <laughs> so this motherfucker, before he put a live eel up his buttocks, this bitch shoved a lemon up there. <laughs> 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 Bitch, what are you doing? Are you marinating <laughs> this eel? <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> this motherfucker put a lemon up his bum hole. He put a lemon in the poop and shafter. And then a live eel, a live 26 inch eel. Let me explain that to you in Jersey Mike's terms, okay? <laughs> this man put two giant sub sandwiches in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Days. Holy shit. Friends, this is what happens when you don't let, when you grow up in a world where it is shunned to be gay, okay? Because look, my man's just doing butt stuff, okay? This man is gay, but I'm sure he's scared. I'm sure he's scared to be gay. So he thought, let me just go to the store. And try stuff. Let me get a lemon. 
<laughs> Let me put a lemon in there and see what happens. <laughs> Let me shove a lemon up my bum and see what happens. And then that wasn't enough. He said, let me go to the ocean and find an eel. So my man went to a grocery store, got a lemon, shoved it up his butt, then went to the ocean, dove into the water, found an eel, took it out, got on the boat, pulled his pants down and shoved an eel in there. <laughs> <laughs> Brother man didn't even bother to kill him. He's so gay he had to put a live one in there, Jack. <laughs> 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 uh, holy shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Doctor said he is lucky to be alive. Okay, he could have died. Uh, because uh, you know, your intestines are sealed for a reason. They are are porous, but they are sealed for a reason because the material that is in your intestines, apparently, if it gets into your outside of your body cavity, it can kill you. So apparently having an eel three eat through your intestines is not a good idea. <laughs> so brother man was rushed to the hospital where the <laughs> lemon and the eel were removed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my days all right i must end the show but before i go here are my motherfucking ufc picks i've got Stuart nicole ricky glenn tom newland jake jenkins luana sandals joshua kulibau walter walker walter walker Carlos Pretis, Tai Tuibosa, Matthias Gamro, Kai Carafros, and Israel Adesanya. Those are my motherfucking UFC picks. Bet with me. Bet against me. Who cares? Let's watch some fucking fights. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, industrialistbrand.com. Pick up your Who's Gen rash guard. I think I'm going to tell them to uh, cut off sales either Friday or next Friday. So, you got like two weeks, okay? Two weeks to buy your Who's Gen Rash Guard, and then we're done. No more. No mas, okay? That's it. Arras. Uh, www.ramboperadio.com Get your, yourself some merch, if you would like. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Ooh. Gen TV, Gen TV, Gen, if I can fucking say it right, Jesus fuck Christ, Gen T, TV, uh, for all your entertainment needs, of course, the uh, episodes of the podcast are up there, and then I will randomly post up different videos, different blogs, I, I posted up me cooking the other day, did y'all see that? I made myself look like a complete jackass cooking under a minute, I made uh, some bomb ass pasta, it was tasty, um, but damn, y'all didn't tell me when you cut onions, you cry like a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, anyhow, all of the filth is there on Gen T TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will talk to y'all next week. But until then, this is Rebel Radio. I'm out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>